Now we know that, that you two still have some questions, so we have joined us neurosurgeon Dr. Anthony Kim to help answer a few of those. So Dr. Kim, we have you via Skype as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you two fire away any questions that you may have. Perfect, great. Um, you know, with McLean's brain tumor being the size of an orange and him being three years old, we're so curious to know if that is something that he may have been born with or if that was something that developed after he was born and how long does it typically take for a tumor to grow to that size? These tumors are very indolent. Uh, they grow very slowly over time. In fact, uh, this is the, one of the few tumors where we actually have found the tumor uh, at the fetus state or as a neonate. So it is possible that he had the tumor even at birth. You know, McLean has been diagnosed as photophobic and he is extremely sensitive to light and always has been. Do you think that this is something that could have been caused from the tumor or is that something entirely different? The cord plexus papilloma itself does not cause this problem typically. And uh, the location of the tumor nor the surgery typically causes this problem to this extent. Uh, but it is possible that if your son did have this tumor since childhood, since he was born, uh, that the chronic pressure uh, had an effect on the optic nerve. And uh, because children are so resilient, I'm sure he'll get over it. But for now, he probably has some sensitivity to the optic nerve or to the suprachiasmic nucleus, the centers that kind of govern the sensitivity to light. Perfect, thank you. And Dr. Kim, you mentioned that McLean is clearly a resilient kid and mm -hmm. we want to make sure McLean's getting the best protection while he's healing. That starts with $1,000 of Theraspex specialized lenses. They're lab tested specs designed to block more light than typical frames and meet customer specific circumstances like your son's photophobia. And they look pretty cool as well. They do look pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. And that's not all. Holly told our producers McLean wears Danmar helmets to keep his head and shunt protected. Well, we also reached out to them and they agreed to give your son helmets for as long as he needs them as he continues to grow. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my God. Not only do these helmets provide excellent protection, but they're created one of a kind. We're not done yet. We know that your daughter, Lola Bell, she's done so much for her brother that she loves so much. We wanted to do something for her as well. And that's why we're giving your kids a huge bundle of toys from MG Entertainment worth almost $2,000. It's full of not only LOL surprise dolls, but tiny tykes, build a house, and more. Oh my goodness. Good stuff. Sorry, Dr. Kim, we don't have any toys for you, <laughs> although you deserve it. Yeah, Dr. Kim, you do. Thank you for answering everyone's questions. <laughs> we really appreciate it, Dr. Kim. Holly Jeffrey, send our best to McLean and Lilabelle, and best of luck with everything moving forward. Thanks for sharing your story with us.